I finally got a library card. I was wandering around trying to find any of the books that I had been wanting to read for so long, and then I found it! A book by Robin Hobb. And right on the cover, book one! Yes! Because I have made that mistake before. This book is dense, right from the start. And I can't help but wonder if it's a bit too dense. Like, I am struggling. But it's cool that the author trusts me so much. So I go back and I reread a couple things, concentrate, and I figure it out. And then it clicks and I do some Googling, and this may be the first book of this trilogy, but it is not the first trilogy about these characters. It is the third trilogy about these characters. Damn it, Laura! You just said you'd already done this before! You stopped reading. Not because I didn't like it. I liked it a lot, so I had to decide if I liked it enough to read another six of these or to just carry on with this one. I found the first one of the first trilogy. I started reading, and it turns out I know everything. If only I hadn't concentrated! I don't know all the details, but it seems that when a character is six at the beginning of the first novel and fifty-some at the beginning of the seventh, the things the author has him reflect upon are important. I may have only read 46 pages, but I know a lot. Every time something happens or I meet someone new, it's like, you're gonna get married and you're gonna die and that law's gonna change and you're gonna turn into a dragon. But at this point, there are no dragons. No one talks about dragons. They're not in the legends. There are no dragons in this world. So maybe that's part of the next trilogy. Anyway, I'm enjoying the first book. It's just a different way to read a story. It's helping me be less stressed out than normal. Terrible shit is gonna happen. It. But now it's my choice whether or not I get attached to the affected characters. But I'm in. Mostly because I want to understand what the heck about this dragon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye! If I filmed this earlier, you could have had the sounds of rain and screaming children in the background. Alas.